In this analysis video, we discuss the member question, why can't Tiger hit a fairway with the driver? So uh, Tiger has had a, I'd say, better than expected season. Um, he's doing great with his iron play, his putting has really come around, but he still seems to struggle with the driver. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about one or two ideas that might contribute to why Tiger struggles so much off the tee. Whenever I'm addressing consistency, there are three main factors that I look for. One is the low point control from the face-on video, or basically looking at the height of the club down at the ground. Um, here you can see he's got the club close to the height of the golf ball um, for a relatively long period of time. So low point control might not be the, the biggest reason why he would struggle with the driver. Um, for many amateurs, it will either come down from a too high a position or it will come up too quickly leading to topping the ball or hitting it really low on the face. The second area of consistency that I look at is the swing plane or the rough path of the club. Um, now, a, a guesstimate you can use is if you take the, the swing to impact and then freeze it, you can draw a line up the shaft and that'll roughly give you um, the shaft plane at impact and then you can kind of see how close he is uh, with the hands and the club on both sides of the ball. Um, you'd have to have the perfect camera angle, but you can see from this view that the path does appear to be slightly in to out, um, and it appears to be following a relatively good path as it relates to the driver. So it doesn't look like low point, it doesn't look like path are his main issues, which lets us think that possibly the third one is going to be an issue. The third main issue is looking at the face-to-path relationship, and basically looking at the timing of how he rotates the club face. So now, if we get him to roughly shaft parallel here, um, the club face is not in an overly position, or overly open position, um, and it's not in a terribly closed position. He, he really can do a lot from where the club is here. But now, as we come down, you can see through these few frames through here, the club is still pointing well out to the right of the target, um, which many more consistent drivers of the golf ball would have the club face pointing a little bit closer uh, to towards the golf ball or towards the target and not have to rotate it quite as fast down at the bottom. So one possible reason Tiger struggles off the tee is he struggles with closing the club face uh, too late in the downswing. Most of the amateurs who I work with who have this pattern and many pros who have this pattern do struggle with bigger misses off the tee and often struggle with two-way misses. Now the next question I always get is why is that a bigger problem with the driver than it is with the iron? Uh, but before we investigate that, let's take a quick look at his iron play. Okay, so now over on the right we have a swing vision from the Memorial Tournament um, and we're comparing it to a driver from roughly around the same time of the year. So now if we get him down to that shaft parallel checkpoint with the iron, you can see that the club face is in a little bit more uh, closed or turned down position. That by itself isn't going to make us more consistent, uh, but it could mean that we don't have to close it quite as aggressively late. And now if we get the club to about the same distance uh, before impact, so somewhere kind of in this zone here, you can see that the uh, club face is pointing more at the golf ball or closer to the target um, than it is over here with the driver. Now we don't know what shots he's hitting with these two, uh, but if you look at some of his uh, swings with the uh, driver throughout the years, you will see that this is a common pattern here where the club face is open late, and with his iron play this is more of the common pattern. He tends to get it closed a little bit sooner. Now we just have to speculate as to why that happens. Perhaps it's the way he swings at it um, harder with the driver that causes the face to get open. Perhaps it's a weighting of the club in his hands that he feels when in order to swing up on the ball, he has a hard time doing so with the club face feeling closed. Who knows, but this would certainly be one area that he could investigate uh, since it does contribute to the fact that he struggles more with hitting fairways off the tape. Now let's say you have this position here with an iron as well as a driver, uh, but you mainly struggle with accuracy problems with a driver. Well, that can happen uh, for a couple different reasons. One, it's often easier to uh, close the club face late by straightening the trail arm and kind of flipping the wrist. 
And it's often easier to do that if you are a little bit ahead of the golf ball or swinging down on it because of a little bit of a forward lunge. That pattern of hitting down with a little forward lunge tends to be more repeatable with irons than it does with driver. The second answer could be just the fact that the club is longer and when the club is longer it has more resistance to change because it will be moving faster. And when the club has more resistance to change it's easier to control if you can get it squared up sooner. Um, I use the example of imagine you were playing badminton and instead of playing badminton with a normal racket which is quite light and which you can square up with just a little flick of the wrist Imagine if I gave you a badminton racket that weighed, let's say, 10 pounds. It would change your strategy of how you'd have to play. You'd have to get in position earlier so that you could have the badminton racket going on the path that you wanted with a face pointing in the right direction because you wouldn't be able to change it so quickly down at the bottom or right before impact. Um, it's one of my theories based on talking with a few um, golf science guys uh, that that becomes more of an issue when you're swinging a longer club like a driver than it does with a shorter club, which leads to why a lot of golfers who have a club face that's open uh, struggle more off the tee than they do with their iron play. One thing that I've noticed is that golfers who tend to swing at it with a little bit more ease or rhythm tend to be able to recover better from that open club face position. Now, just so you can see that this is not something new in his game, here we have two swings, one from 2008 over on the left and one from 2013 over on the right. Um, you'll see he has the club face a little bit more closed in this one than he does in that one. Um, but as we start to approach the golf ball, you can see the club face is still well right of where the fairway is there. And you can see that this one, while not quite as dramatic, is still pointing uh, more off to the right than it is currently. So this seems to be a pattern that he has struggled with, with which could explain why he struggles more off the tee, but it's hard to mess with anything when you are one of the best iron players, have the great short game and the mental game to win as much as he had, even with having an accuracy deficiency off the tee. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not quite confident with your club face control, I've linked a playlist down at the bottom to help you understand uh, club face a little bit better. If you're not quite ready to head over to Golf Smart Academy and sign up for a free membership trial, then please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be the first to know about it whenever we create new analysis videos just like this one.